What's going on, everybody? This is Fritz, and this is a yet another episode of Road to Be a Boss Editor. And this effect, or I guess I don't, I guess it's an effect. Um, it's just a simple screen pump, but with some directional blur. And I'll give you all the numbers I use. Um, it's really nice. I use this a lot. I love directional blur. Um, I use it for lots of stuff, especially this. This is is just great. And uh, I, I, this was recommended by my buddy Jazzy. So here you go, dude. And uh, hopefully, you can help out a lot of other people too. Um, I love this effect, and I'll just go right into it. So we're just going to delete this clip, get rid of this, all that junk. We're just going to drag, make a new comp. Here we go. So now you can do it when you shoot. So, like, I could do it there, but what I like to do with it is sync with music. So let's say you're up here, and the song's like, dun, dun, dun. Blah, and then just step step over there, but for like the like I, I guess you could say like bass beats like up before a trick shot for example That's where I use this the most so first thing we're gonna do is find where we want to do it So we're gonna start it right here. What we want to do is hit s on our keyboard So we're gonna zoom in on our uh, uh, Timeline a little bit hit s on our keyboard Keyframe scale at 100 go over one frame by hitting up here next frame change it to 112 so one one two then go over about a m one second, so uh, about a second's rate there. And now we're going to bring it back down to 100. So if you bring it down to zero, um, I'll show you what happens. If you bring it down to zero, it just it, it fades completely out, or it just zooms all the way out. We don't want that, so you got to make sure it's at 100, otherwise it won't work, and that way it just goes right back to the way it was. So that's it. That's the main pump. It's just all on the scaling right there. And now we're going to have the directional blur to make it look even nicer. So just search it up, directional blur, right there, blur and sharpen, drop it on there. First thing, you have to change the direction to 90 degrees. Otherwise, the blur goes up and down rather than side to side. And what we're going to do is go to the first keyframe we made. So you can see here, I've zoomed in on the timeline a bit. We've got this keyframe where the scale is 100, then it jumps up to 112, and then gradually goes back down to 100 right there. So what we want to do is go to the first keyframe we made where it's at 100. So we're going to hit blur length, keyframe at zero, go over exactly one frame. So now this is the frame where it jumps out. So you can see here it's at 100, boom, jumps out. And we're going to change this blur length to a number I like, and that's 42. I like it a lot. So there we go. We got the number 42 up there. And now if you did it right, it should be uh, like normal size, normal size, and then boom, it should zoom in and blur. So now we want to fade out that blur so it doesn't look nasty. So we're going to go to the last keyframe we made, and this is back where it's at the scaling of 100 change the blur length down to zero and then if you watch it over and you've did it correctly it should go like that just a nice little blur fade in fade out so uh, or not fade in I guess it jumps in and then fades out so recap here hit you so you can see all the keyframes uh, keyframes at zero zero go over one or zero one hundred then forty two one twelve and then zero one hundred again so you can highlight them as usual and keyframe resistant hit easy ease and it makes them a little bit nicer and what I even might do is I might change the scale a little bit so it just kind of goes in a little bit uh, a little bit more advanced. But that, that's another, that's a tutorial for another day. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like rating if you did. And um, leave a comment down below if you have any requests or anything for anything. Uh, really sick episode I'm working on involving this clip, uh, introducing Tune PhD. That'll be out really soon. Also, my second channel has begun, so if you haven't already subscribed to it, there's been an annotation throughout this entire video up somewhere on the screen, wherever I decided to put it. So uh, go subscribe there. I I'm working on a Madden 13 montage, which is kind of cool, uh, along with editing. So hope you guys enjoyed Tune Editing uh, challenges up. So everybody do it. Bye.